Which way did they go? Who? Right, two each way. Come to the exit. Tap the double! Here you. Two fugitives. Did you see them? They ran into the tent. We haven't seen anything. Cat. Just you wait till you get capped. Then you'll have a greater respect for the truth. And welcome. But to what do we owe the honor of this visit? Two fugitives. One tall, long, dark hair, glasses, the other medium height, good looking, with a fresh complexion. They entered my tent. I saw them just a moment ago. Is this true? I swear by the tripods, Captain, I saw nothing. Perhaps they went out the way they came. I have guards surrounding the tent. Oh, if they have the trick of disappearance, perhaps I should offer them employment. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, Pasha. Uh, you are welcome, of course, to search the rest of my circus. Madam, some fugitives have taken refuge in the circus. I am well able to take care of intruders. It's pardon, but the captain's orders were to check. anyone came in brought havoc in the town those two so there will be a price on their head four or five hundred marks each I should think nothing captain just a couple of clowns making up they must have gone straight through the tent and out the other side. Take my men. See if you can pick up their trail. I'll return with horses. Come on! Come on! Hey, they're leaving. Thanks to that boy who kept his mouth shut. They are all uncapped, except that old turf with the whip. I wonder if we could persuade them to let us hide for a bit. They're obviously about to move out. I'm still starving. Well, that shouldn't be so much of a problem now. With a fortune in your pocket. The problem is converting them into usable cash. So, I have two new clowns. Um, we apologize for... No, this it's intrusion. both my pleasure and my profit, for I hear there is a very high price on your head. The next will be in your back. Add at least a thousand to the takings, Fatima. The runaways. And when I've discovered why they are such wanted criminals, I shall certainly double the price. 
Listen to me, Will. If this man is only interested in money, we may be able to offer a higher price than the guards. Have bread and water. Merci. Poor oh, friend. Whenever did you last see it? I suppose you appear so grieved. This is the best meal I've ever had. Mm. Thank you. And for trying to help. We're not so fond of the guards either. We're tolerated only because the circus was so popular. Were you trying to steal in the town? No. No, we wanted to exchange goods for food, but he assumed we'd stolen the goods. And you had not, sir. Just some things we found in the ruined house. And where are you from? Our homes in the mountains in the south. What about you? Different places. We're all orphans. Most of us are the children of vagrants. What? Abandoned. Others have run away from home to escape the captain. He trains us and we perform for him. Sounds fun. But he exploits us. And he has contact in every town with the blackguards. They find him useful, keeping us out of trouble. But he's a tyrant. He's certainly fond of his whip. Mm. From outside, many children think he looks a wonderful life. Some even run away from good homes to join the circus. If they show a talent he can use, he'll allow them to stay. Otherwise, they'll just hand them back to the guards for money. Like us when we finish the season in Geneva. That's what he plans to do with us. Unless we have talents he can use. Well? They look older than us. A year. <clears throat> Maybe even two. So they must be capped. Unless that's why the black guards are after them. Well, they say they've been to the games. Well, they'd have to be capped for that, too. Yet yeah, a cat would never run away from the guards as they have done, nor spend weeks just wandering around like vagrants. Maybe that's what they are. Yeah, Here's Geneva. Perfect. Straight up the valley to the White Mountain. You mean... Yes, if we can persuade him to let us join the circus. Ah, but we're supposed to be capped already. Who knows that? I like the tall one, the glasses. Me too. He looks very studious. <laughs> but the most real adventurers. I like anyone who stand up to the black girl. Mm. Hey, they want to join the circus. Oh, great, let's hope they can. Yeah. <laughs> False. But it's good to be free of it. False cap, false sense of freedom. Come on, before anyone comes. What's your name? Raquel. Mine's Will. This is Jean-Paul. Thanks for your help. I wish I could do more, but it'll be out to... There is a way you can. Oh. Do more. Solid gold. Sixteen pieces of gold. And sixteen of silver. But the rest of the set is still hidden in a ruined house near Geneva. Oh. Could others find it? Well, I only found it by accident because the stone was loose. I think only I could find it again. Oh, very good. So when we set out on the road this afternoon, you will have become members of my circus troupe. Then after the final performance in Geneva, we shall go together to the ruined palace. But I must ask you to keep it a secret from the others. And I shall keep this as a guarantee of your good faith. Oh, please, take some snuff with me. To seal the deal? A most fortuitous meeting, and one I hope that will prove great profit to us all. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there will be time enough for you to master the art. <laughs> I'm glad you're <laughs> 
the church. <laughs> Able to do business with you. And we have been delighted to have you here with us. <laughs> now I must go and supervise my rabble and get the show on the road. I will send Casimir to the back <laughs> caravan to sort out some accommodation for you. Yes, <laughs> Fresh air will help.